Yeah, the hiss is the fans on the laptop. Has the echo gone or is it the uh, echo of the room? This is not a good start. <laughs> Right, something to do with the game picking up the <coughs> picking up the uh, snowball for some reason. I don't understand that. Hey, oh well. And I even did a couple of recordings before I started to check things out. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's get going, Warlord. Today's fun. Let's go. So the web. And all the links for today's tutorial are going to be down here. It brings you through to the Rico Theatre app. Um, you just download the doesn't matter which one I think I downloaded that one you're not actually connecting it to the camera and then to make the 360 image we're using uh, image composite editor ice from Microsoft both are free so as I say links available here so let's get started let's go to elite Bear with me. This is going to echo back. Oh no, no, it's not. There we go. Right. So, first things first is obviously uh, fly to wherever you want to go. Wherever you, this isn't a particularly good. Um, Sorry, this isn't a particularly good uh, place. There's no uh, space stations. I think there's just a sun. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's just a sun. That's it. But we use this to create our 360. So let's find out a nice start place for our ship. Go around the other side, I think, when it's all lit. There we go. Whoops. Not on my usual, not on my hotas today, so uh, playing the old Xbox again. And get nice and close. Right, and um, we take a screenshot F10, and then basically, as though you've got a DSLR on a tripod. Um, with a sort of uh, oh crikey, uh, not gimbaled head, but uh, a um, ball head, so you can move the camera sort of almost 360. You won't be, you might have to take it off the tripod if you were to get the down shot. But what we're going to do is take a lot of overlapping images and then stitch them together to make a 360 panorama that you can use especially if you're in VR you can use it as a home page um, in Steam or Oculus um, I'm also going to try it inside the cockpit see if we can get one working there as well uh, just so you know when you go into VR you're actually see, seeing an image of your ship so uh, but also nice I've done a couple of animations using the uh, mobile app uh, just copying the uh, final image over to my uh, mobile phone doesn't matter whether it's Android or iOS again uh, Rico have uh, apps for both OS's uh, in the relative stores um, and from that you can make some sort of funky animations um, as well as you know other stuff anyway let's get going we've taken our first shot so we're going to tilt up hopefully make sure that's still in vision Press F10. 
see the sun's coming in, F10 again. It's quite a laborious task, but as long as you've got overlapping, F10 again. And this is the only thing I've found odd with this, obviously, it's there's some sort of um, auto iris going on. Um, we'll see how uh, ICE deals with that. F10 again up a bit more F10 just making sure you've got overlapping shots we're just literally yawing up and over F10 again that is this is where it might get a little bit upset because we've only got stars coming up there is that nebula it can close on to F10 again F10 again, just making sure you can see some of the stars overlapping, so it's got a fighting chance. F10 again. Oh, we're back to our ship. Oh, hang on, F10. And back to our ship. F10. Get ourselves straightened up. F10, and then I'm going to do a left to right. We've done them sort of all around. So I'm going to move this way. F10, F10, this will again might start getting upset. A little bit of a cockpit in, F10. Ooh, the nebula's coming in, that's handy. F10, if you've got a space station around, that also helps. Go a little bit further because that nebula's nice for it to grab onto. Now the sun's coming in to shot. Now what I didn't do is make sure I could actually get the sun as a full screen, which is might cause some issues. We'll have a bit of fun with this. Keep hitting F10 each time you stop. Hopefully our ship will soon come back into view. Lovely jubbly. F10 each time we stop. And I think we can quite happily go that far. F10. Now what I'm going to try is go up a bit. F10. See if we can get that sun in completely. F10, this might not work, this might upset it because normally just doing a rotation is what the software is expecting, but let's see, I'm going to cheat now and move hopefully backwards. Maybe not. Oh no, bear with, bear with. Oh yeah, I'm as far away as I can be, I should have, <laughs> I should have checked. Well what we'll try, let's just get that as close as we can. We'll go F10 and then we'll yaw up F10. That will just make sure, and then we'll go around in this direction, F10. That's what I'm hoping, is that this will fill in the gaps We've got F10. Just go all the way around again. Just to get another angle. I ended up with about 60 images, I think, the last time I tried this out and posted on uh, Facebook and in Discord. There we go. Okay, so we've got all our images, so what we'll do now, bear with. Is we're going to go over to the desktop. Now this, <laughs> this could all end in, this is going to, this could feed back on me, so apologies if you get feedback. Yeah, nearly got the feedback. Right, so there's Elite. We don't need that. Can we get rid of that by doing that? No. Okay, so we'll pull up 
our ice composite editor and look in it's usually in your home folder pictures frontier developments elite dangerous and these are all the so yeah I've got 46 in there so that's that might be all right so what I'm going to do just for ease of use is I'm going to copy those over to a desktop folder you don't have to do this but if you've got multiple screenshots um, sometimes it's just easier desktop screenshots I'm just going to drop those in there okay and then new image new panorama from image so select all of those so now we've got all our screenshots and it's time to give the AI something to think about and it's going to go through and basically the reason we do the overlapping is it's looking for matches between the images and as I say as far as I'm aware the AI is sort of looking for it in a in a loop so we'll have a look see what it comes up with takes a little while talk amongst ourselves for a minute Mary had a little lamb, it had a sooty foot into Mary's bread and jam. There we go, right. Ah, uh, and it somehow thinks we've got two ships. <laughs> oh dear, so it hasn't worked maybe as I would have expected. But we want a spherical image, so let's go to crop. And that looks weird, but it should work. I'm going to leave the two ships in and see how it works, because that looks... Uh, not complete. No, it has upset it. <laughs> yeah, that has upset it. Let's export it anyway and see what uh, see what it makes of it. So it looks sort of right. So if we now go to the Rico app. Drag our screenshot into there. See what this makes of it. Ah, there we go. We've got one ship and a beautiful. There we go. Ah, that's. No, yeah, no, that's. I love it. We've got two ships. <laughs> one part next to the other. Oh, that's hysterical. zoom out and make ourselves a planet you can zoom quite quite well in on these as well um, that's again the plus point of um, how it stitches the images that's not too bad but yeah as I say shows how it fooled the AI in thinking there's two ships there so we did get our full sun and it's handled the exposure reasonably well you can see where it's made up bits there that is quite funny front and the back right well that was a bit of fun let's see if we can do the uh, interior see if we can do the interior as I say you can uh, using the mobile app um, you can uh, plot your own course looking through this and create quite nice little videos um, and again there's, you can see where if I try and zoom oh, no, it's not, oh that one's not as good as it could be I might have, should have taken maybe one a bit closer um, but again you can sort of post process yourself an image and take that as a screenshot it allows you know quite a lot of mucking around after the event 
do quite like that one actually, that's quite uh, quite funky. Yeah, anyway, I digress. Let's go back and see if we can do inside the actual ship. So let's go back. This is this is gonna feed back unfortunately. So I've got no option but to do this, which is gonna be horrible. I do apologize. There we go. Oh, and my little fella's gone all small. Why has my little fella gone all small? <laughs> Let's make me little fell a little bit. Uh, there we go, that's better. There we go, happy days. Right. Ah, he's small there as well. Why didn't I notice that? I'm terrible. Let's just sort that out. I don't know. Not really very organised, am I? Right, let's go to Elite. There he is, happy days. Parked up where we were. Okay, let's see if we can get inside. Okay. There's a way of no I don't want to close. Right, let's go back outside. Ah, there we go. Ship back, ship low. Right, can I get yeah, I've got a sneaky feeling it doesn't do a full 360, it's a bit of a pain. But Let's have a go. So, get rid of that. Oh, no, that's controlling the ship. Yeah, the gimbal box on you. Can't actually get behind you. Right, I might be able to cheat it. Mm, this is the. <laughs> Do it in the co pilot seat. No, gimbal box there as well. Oh, that's a pain. Maybe we could do left and right side in the cockpit. It might upset it, but let's give, let's give it a go. Oh, you're not allowing me to do that again, are you? So, cockpit ship front, that would get that side, hmm, okay, it might get us enough, let's give it a go, so this is going to be interesting. That one, that one, that one, okay, that's what we want. Right, let's try. F10. Now his hands moving might upset it, I should have turned the animation off, shouldn't I? F10. That's as far as it will let us go. F10. Let's go left. I'm sure we've got a nice overlap. F10. Down. F10. Down. F10. Yeah, I should have stopped the animations because he's moving around might to make him all blurry. F10. That's as far as it will go that way. F10, that's as far as it goes that way, this could be a disaster. Let's try 
again F10 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 wait till it's exceeded here F10 let's try going over here F10 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 again F10 that's the F10 and we go down F10 Diddle D Diddle D Diddle D Right now we need to go to the other side this is where it could really upset it so you're not going to allow me to flip through a Yes, you are. Ah, okay. That's the other side. Okay. At least the cavern it was looking down, wasn't it? So, will it pick up? Mm, I don't know. Let's start. Let's try. Let's just do it. F10. Let's go down. F10. Ooh. Ten. Ooh, right a bit. F ten. Right a bit more. F ten. As far as it goes. F ten. Let's go up. F ten. This isn't going to work. So it's going to be too. I've already thought. Yeah, we're moving actual positions, so this could be <laughs> really upset it this could be quite interesting to see what the AI comes up with this because you do need to rotate around one one spot and that's what we haven't done so uh, yeah it'll be interesting mm. and then we need to see outside so oh and I've still got the commander Nick Lambert in there I didn't get rid of that rats silly boy Yeah, and one for looking out the front. Mm. Uh, I despair sometimes. Let's see if it will do this. It might not. Let's F10 that. F10 that. F10 that. That's as far as it goes. No, I think this is going to totally upset the AI, but hey, what the heck? What have we got to lose? Okay, let's go over to our desktop again. So this is going to might howl back on us. And let's go back to our original screenshot. Select all. Get rid of those. Don't need those anymore. Grab our new ones, which is I think are going to totally upset it. But let's have a look. And let's drop those in there. Let's see what uh, the AI makes of this. Discard that one. I think this is going to totally upset it, but let's. Uh, it's always nice to experiment. See what it does. I think this is going to totally blow its mind.
because as I say the AI is expecting um, a panorama so images taken in a circle doesn't matter whether it's your pitch roll it's just expecting the camera to be in the same place so yeah this could be <laughs> quite horrific <laughs> it's not actually anal I don't believe it's actually analyzing the image content um, it's just looking for matches so of course when it finds matches that aren't at the same camera position it won't know what to do with them and you can end up with some quite funky effects and uh, yeah like getting the two ships yeah there you go <laughs> two captains <laughs> completely wacky oh dear let's see what it makes of it that is quite funny suppose we crop down me. So crop out. I think it just it will just pinch the bits that are missing. It's going to pinch those edges because it's missing. But hey ho. At least this one allows us to do an auto complete. It'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's export that. Uh, let's go to superb. In fact, that was probably my why that one didn't. Uh, save that. Let's go and have a look at it in Rico Theatre. thinking about it hey we've got double commander seats <laughs> we've got a modified yeah it set it I mean all this has gone a bit squiffy hasn't it but it's a bit of fun <laughs> oh dear how funny yeah, and that's where it just couldn't work it out. So it just, I think it just, yeah, you can see there's a hard scene there where it couldn't actually make a complete panorama. <laughs> but hey, we've got a modified, something people don't see every day. Might take a shot of that, that's a giggle. Double commander in, uh, in an asp. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Well, hopefully that's given you a few ideas um, and uh, a bit of fun. I'll uh, carry on and see if I can get anything else working. Um, let's have a think. Let's have a think. It's got to be a way, as I say, uh, it's interesting to see how, it, uh, how the AI gets fooled. So funny. I suppose we could try structure from motion. That's uh, another thing we could probably try to rebuild it because that does analyse the pixels in the image. Uh, but that would have to be a different, uh, a different stream, I think. But yeah, anyway, we've got our 360 images, even though this one's a bit weird. Um, let's just go back and uh, just for the hell of it. Um, back to elite sorry this screen's gonna uh, howl back on itself for a second there we go let's make sure I've got elite front of house uh, let's go back outside See if we can get something where Ooh. that's it. Get as far away as we can. That sun is definitely, definitely a big one.
things. I want to get good light on the asp, so... Right, let's... Out of interest. Coming a bit closer. I'm going to try... See if zooming back... Uh, zooming back's not going to work either, is it? Thinking about it. Just want to try and get rid of the two asps. Because the first one I did of this and posted just seemed to work <laughs> straight away quite nicely. See what it makes of this F10. Up F10. 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 Screenshot. 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 We can see which bits are missing left and right, so this shouldn't be. Got the nebula back in. And the ship's coming back into the shop. Okay, and then we go left. I'm going to go around in a circle. Oh, that nebula is so helpful. Oh, it's got all the sun in. Oops. Back. So now I'm going to go up this way, I think. See if we can get the rest of that, make sure we've got full. Back to my ship. Lovely. Right. Let's. Back to our screenshot, select all, delete rows, quickly drag. How many have we got? Mm, not that many. 50, 44. Okay, let's pop back to our display. Bear with, there's going to be a feedback. Woo, sorry. So, dropping the screenshots in here again. We'll go to ice. Back, 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 back. And discard. New panorama. Select all. Open. Woof says the dog. Hit the stitch button, see what we get out of there. Sorry mate, missed that yet. Yeah, catch you later. Thanks mate, thanks for popping by. I do apologise. I <laughs> presume there was nobody there, so uh, yeah. I'm going to just ban this up on YouTube anyway, so it's there for uh, people just to whiz through and get the basic idea.
nearly there thinking about it, the interest to see if this one actually works properly as uh, the first one I did off stream did and obviously posted the results online I suppose it's good that things don't, yeah that's almost there, it hasn't done the best of uh, work on there but uh, see the sun's got a bit wobbly there with there so complete, yeah it's happy with that Again, you can stitch these up in a in Photoshop or GIMP uh, if you really. It's usually it does of um, as always with these things. Uh, superb, yeah, eight megapixels, a bit bigger. It's brought to disk. Let's get back to Rico. Drop should be there it is, drop that on there. Yeah, it's uh, failed a bit on doing the sun there, which is a bit of a shame. But this time we have only got the one ship, which is good. Unfortunately it's stuttering a little bit just purely because uh, obviously I've got loads and loads of stuff open yeah it's done a nicer job on the ship I think this time see how close we can get in on that oh yeah almost to the point of seeing me in the something like that <laughs> yeah shame about that but as I say the other thing I could probably in fact maybe I could take out some of the images see how that works give it less images to work at see if it can because uh, I have got one of the eh, thoughts but yeah that definitely needs a touch up but you can touch up the panoramas in something like GIMP if necessary but uh, yeah bit of fun there we go and if you've got Ansel by NVIDIA I believe uh, I think it just does it for you but uh, I'm on uh, an, A an AMD graphics card so there you go anyway that's it for today we'll uh, just have a bit of feedback for one last time and I'll put you on the goodbye script screen